Uh, welcome back. This is Servbot Steve for Blank for the Masses, and we're playing Shadow of the Colossus, and we have just defeated our second Colossus. Boom! <laughs> they never explain why that happens, why there's glowing, or why there's awesome organ music, or the creepy shadows. They never explain anything in this game. And I guess that's half the reason why people like it so much, is because... There's a lot of speculation as to how the mythos works, and it's it's really a nice debate topic. And then there's Dormine. Giant canopy. That guy looks like he has a sword. I like him already. Anger of sleeping giant shatter earth. It's quite quite poetic there. All right. Another thing I should probably point out with this game is that somehow, somehow, lo and behold, my horse always knows how to come back. And uh, it doesn't sound that ridiculous at first, but it's going to get increasingly bizarre as to how he's able to get back. But I digress. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. Alright. So, which direction are we going? Alrighty. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. I'll stop singing. I just really... I'm considering cutting these getting to and from parts, but they're honestly a necessary part of the game. They provide, I don't want to say a break, but they just provide a scope of it. It's a very integral part of the game, I would say. And I don't know why that hawk keeps stalking me. Oh well. And... I SEE THE COLOSSUS OVER THERE! No, I'm kidding. That's another one of those shrine things that Dormian was talking about. You see one right there, and there's another one over that hill. And the shrines have a little bit of a purpose. They're actually save points from getting to and from spots. So a lot of people will save at a save point nearby their favorite bosses and fight him over again. I completely understand that. I actually have a couple files like that. But for me, it's nah, not the most sensical thing to do. Yeah. Alright, now I almost always get lost trying to get to this boss. So let me see if I can get there without us totally getting lost. Let's go. A hundred bottles of beer on wall, a hundred bottles of beer, take one down, pass it around, 99 bottles of beer on the wall. <sighs> Gosh, finally! <laughs> I think that was ten minutes! My god! Oh well. We're in the right spot now, I mean the camera's doing its own thing and it's telling me what to do, so I'm gonna go do it. Underwater control works about as well as you would imagine it would. Weirdly enough, you swim faster underwater than you do above water. I'm not sure why. Take as long as you like getting over there, boy. I mean, really? Uh, come on. Oh. Something happened with the horse. Ugh. 
Here we go. I mean, just look at this scenery. That's beautiful. Surprise twist! This whole island is the Colossus! I wish. Epic platforming! I mean, this is much more gripping than Mario Brothers. Alright. I gotta look for a place to jump up. Or can I jump up here? So I can. Lovely. 